Well, folks, here we are again for the weekly forecast. During this past week, we've seen the heat build in in western Nebraska during the early part of the week, and then that finally moved into eastern Nebraska during the mid and late week period. We also dealt with periodic thunderstorm activity with the most concentrated areas of rainfall situated from north central through south central Nebraska. Unfortunately, we had to deal with some significant hail with those thunderstorms, but in the eastern extent and western extent of the state, more scattered like thunderstorm activity, hit and miss. If you got precipitation, you were very lucky, but a lot of areas did not receive the significant moisture that we've seen in the central part of the state. Now, as we go through this next seven day period, we're gonna be dealing with a very strong upper air trough, trying to push eastward against that big ridge that brought our warm temperatures. So we do have an extended period with thunderstorm opportunities and heavy rainfall is likely across portions of Nebraska. So let's take a look at the upper air models. For today, we see that big trough situated across the western United States. Here's that ridge that brought our heat. It's starting to move toward the east. On the back side, we're going to see a southwest flow aloft and at the surface, moisture coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. So we expect a piece of energy to develop it during the afternoon hours coming out of southeastern Colorado, moving toward the northeast. That will generate thunderstorm activity, particularly across the western half of the state. Continue on through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, and we will see some of that thunderstorm activity activity exit out of eastern Nebraska during the a.m. hours and then we'll start to redevelop thunderstorm activity as that trough tries to move toward the northeast. Another piece of energy will round out that trough, particularly uh, western Nebraska has the best chance for thunderstorm activity carrying on into eastern Nebraska during the overnight into the early morning hours of Monday and then that system will exit out and we'll start the process all over again as another piece of energy tries to move into the Pacific Northwest to reinforce its trough. That means another wave of energy will shoot out of the southwest. That will hit mostly western Nebraska, leave most of eastern Nebraska high and dry. As we get into Tuesday, this trough deepens and we'll start to see some cool air coming into the panhandle. Thunderstorm development is likely across the western one-third of the state and that will carry through the eastern part of the state once again during the overnight into the early morning hours. And as we get into Wednesday, this is when the trough makes its main move. This looks like the best opportunity for widespread thunderstorm activity. I would not be surprised. We'll see some severe convection with this system and also some heavy precipitation. Right now it's targeting the central one-third of the state up through northeastern Nebraska, but any shift south or north of that will put that precipitation more in eastern or western Nebraska. Now as we get into Thursday, that system starts to exit out to the Great Lakes. We'll get a cool northwest flow. Well below normal temperatures are in store both Thursday and also on Friday. We'll start to see some warmth coming into western Nebraska, but the cool air will hang on into eastern Nebraska. So if we look at the temperature forecast, you can see the periodic thunderstorm activity with the best opportunities as we get into the midweek period. Then we'll see a, a cooling trend all the way through next weekend before we start to see the chance for that continuation of cool air to continue from next Thursday to the following Tuesday as that cool air settles into our region. But we will also have numerous opportunities once again as that front settles in for thunderstorm activity to develop all the way through into the first week of September.